Hello everyone and welcome to a video. Um, a little bit different than the usual, but here I have a little display back here. Just some three quarter inch Joes. And the reason is, um, I mentioned this in a short video I made, um, but I have some old vintage and some modern but mostly vintage i've been purchasing some vintage um figures so we're just gonna go through them i mean i had more packages on the way but i feel like just doing um those packages um for their own video is better and we can get a closer look and um just look at the figure more because of obviously time and all that stuff <clears throat> so anyway i have two i guess packages from two different sellers um the first one we'll be taking a look at is from chaplin figures i believe i'll leave um a link to both sellers um whatnot um i guess streams or accounts if you don't know what what whatnot is it's basically a streaming service i mean people can stream and you're just bidding or buying certain things so you're in there with other people and you are bidding for figures or whatever you are buying and i mean you're just basically wasting money but you know you know how much to waste and you will know um or you can determine how much you want to waste and how much a figure is worth for you so for this first batch from chaplin um i got a total of five figures um they're not complete um some of them are missing some accessories but for the most part they're all in great condition. Um, Cause we'll start right away with this guy here. Um, you obviously can't see what I'm seeing, but we'll show them on camera. So this first guy is Gyro Viper. So he is the Mamba driver and he is complete. Um, by complete, I mean, he only comes with the helmet plugs it um goes over his head but i don't think that will do that well yeah, here he is reason i got him he's got some purple on him i don't know I'm, i like the color purple as of now <laughs> but he's also a very colorful um character so what we'll do is we'll start placing them back here <clears throat> let's see next one will be Jinx. Um, she has her backpack, but she is missing two accessories. And I like that the seller put the little note um, detailing everything. So I'll keep these bags with the notes on them. But here we have Jinx, a ninja character. Nice dragon logo, still intact. Some good paint, not much rubbing. She has the fingernails painted. Very nice looking figure. <coughs> Starting to get sick as well. Uh, I don't know, it's that tight that I can't even talk. It's that weather now where, I don't know, my voice feels rough as you can clearly hear, but we'll pull through. Um, this one is dial tone and he is missing one accessory and I think it's just broken overall. This is dial tone. I don't know if he was one of the ones um, announced for later in the classified series. But there he is. He has that backpack piece. This piece is broken which is supposed to be sort of a mic that goes around over here but very nice looking 
Nope, not a lot of paint rub going on. Yeah, let's put him there. See if he can stand. I also got some stands for these guys for later on. Um, this next one is Cobra Commander. Um, so he's missing his gun and some sort of tube. And I think I know what he was referring to, but here we have his backpack piece. It goes on. And yeah, so this is Cobra Commander's battle suit. Um, he's also missing the crotch piece. But that's fine with me. I'm not looking for complete figures. As long as I have them. That's good enough for me. <coughs> Sorry about that. But anyway, yeah, he's missing a little tube that goes into here. Well, that's it. That's about it. And his gun. Nice Cobra logo there. A little bit of paint rub on this one, but it looks nice overall. And I think the most exciting um, figure I got from this seller was Low Light, who is missing his handgun and his bipod for this sniper rifle. As you can see, there he is. Very nice paint still, no rubbing on the grenades or the glasses. Um, yeah, I think the gun plugs in on here. The big old backpack. And I'm excited to see what they do with the classified form. He was announced to be joining the classified um roster and there it goes and there goes the snow serpent which we're also getting for classified so i guess i'll show him off but yeah we're getting him for classified i'm excited another troop builder for snow missions he's a little loose but anyway moving on and taking all this clutter out of here <clears throat> we have Springer Collectibles. I believe his name is John. Uh, oh, okay. We got a lot of goodies from him. Um, too much? No, that's it. I thought I had four figures from him, but I think it's just three of them. Uh, yeah, I guess it's just three. I don't know. I'll keep looking. I don't want to miss out on something. But we have three figures. So, and he included this. So that's his name. You can, he even has a YouTube channel. I'll link everything below. Um, we can do some sort of short video with these. They're trading card cards. Um, I've never had one of these. And I don't know how rare they are, but he added this as a bonus to the overall package. And he included some figure stands and some O-rings for the figures. I think there was four figures because he added... Huh. Might have dropped them somewhere. I'm not sure where, but... Um, I guess we'll start with this first one. <clears throat> this is Alley Viper. That is complete. I believe this is version 10. And, I don't know, I, I've been looking everywhere for him. Um, online to see how much he was worth. I think I got this guy for a decent price. It was around 15 bucks or so. But let's take a closer look at him. So he is complete. I don't know how he, how much he goes for. I haven't found any listings of him online. But there's the, the little shield, the backpack piece, and his gun. 
and the visor does go up and down. And Springer Collectibles is a very enjoyable streamer to watch. Um, makes this, the streams interesting. And the figures you'll get are very good in quality for the most part. Yeah, this one needs to get his O-ring replaced. <clears throat> but here we have Torpedo. Um, we're getting him for classified. I think he's going to be one of the next ones to go for pre-order um, very soon, hopefully. But yeah, I think we're only missing the, the swim flippers. I think that's it. Maybe a pistol, but yeah. The O-rings are what keeps the waist and the legs together. So yeah, it's definitely ripped, but it's very easy to fix these. All you have to do is... Oh god, okay. Behind the back piece, um, there's a little screwdriver, and then you can just take it apart and replace it. So we'll put them there for now. Forgot to put the Alley Viper. <clears throat> All right, and lastly, we have what I believe to be a, a great get, Firefly. Um, he's not complete. As I said, I don't really mind not getting them complete. But him alone with like the backpack and his gun goes for a fair amount of price. And I got him pretty cheaply for about 25 if I remember right. But yeah, here we have Firefly. That classic gray. And the paint has, you can see there's like some sort of yellowing going on, it's different tones. But he's still a nice figure to have, he's in great condition overall, tight joints. His O-ring might also need some fixing, but for now, that will do. I'm pretty sure there's a fourth one um, from him, so I'll pause it here and then I'll check again because um, I'm not sure um, what happened but I'll record again if I find it all right so I was right and <laughs> we have one more <clears throat> he slipped out and I was panicking I thought I had thrown accidentally thrown it away but the last figure here Destro with that nice chrome, nice um, necklace. So yeah, not, not a lot of paint rubbing going on with this guy. He is in great shape. <clears throat> and with his briefcase, which is also still intact and I'm not going to try to open it. But it plugs in into his back as well, so there's that. So yeah. Some great additions um, to the overall collection I have already. Um, I'm still expecting more packages, but I think I'll stop buying for a while now. Um, but yeah, I mean, let me know what you guys think. Um, for the most part, I'm trying to find characters who have been announced for classified. That way we can do sort of comparison of you know, how it started to how, I guess, the classified version. So I know Low Light is coming um, on the way. I don't remember if Diotone was announced. And then obviously we already have a version of Fly Firefly and Destro. But yeah, I mean, I thought this was a um, fun little thing to do. I mean, I'll do it again with the next um set of packages that arrive and i think i'll keep it keep each sort of package mail that i receive as a separate video it allows us to look at figures uh, more closely for the most part 
I mean, I know I rushed through it, but, you know, we gotta <laughs> move on to other things. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, leave a like. Let me know how your collection looks. Um, um, consider cons con subscribing. Jeez, I can't really talk. Consider subscribing, liking, and commenting. All that stuff. Mumbo jumbo. But I'll see you guys in the next video.